and it's hard to kind of get into the mindset of winter weather when we had been just so I know. I know. Exactly. These past few days. Uh. Near a record high yesterday. We had 78. The record is 79 out there today. This morning, it's really not too bad. It's still pretty mild for these morning hours, but this afternoon, it's going to be about 20 degrees cooler from what we experienced yesterday. Let's get you out the door right now. This is a view out in Carmel right now. You can see they're all set up for the Chris Kendall Mart. That doesn't open this weekend, but next weekend. So the season is fast approaching and we are going to be getting into that winter weather before we know it, but we have some time now. Live Guardian radar is dry out the door. You don't need your umbrella. What I recommend long sleeves. We have temperatures 40s to mid 50s out there and we'll only see highs in the upper 50s, but take the sunglasses too. We're already seeing a little bit of clearing off in the western side of the state. We will see skies brighten a bit as we head on into the afternoon. A cold front's passed on through and now our winds are out of the northwest driving in that cooler air mass. We're holding on to 51 right now in Indianapolis. We have northwest winds sustained at 12 miles per hour, but we do have some gusts out there that are closer to 20, 25 miles per hour with those wind gusts. We're at 49 in Lafayette, 56 in Shelbyville, and there are those gusts closer to the front is where we see those winds. So still a higher speed with those gusts in Shelbyville right now at 22 miles per hour. On into the afternoon, we'll still stay on the breezy side through the early afternoon hours. Temperatures by noon back into the mid 50s, and we're looking at a high temperature today only at 58. So again, 20 degrees cooler than yesterday. I would not call that shorts weather as many people were in shorts and t-shirts yesterday. A whole different wardrobe for today. But on into the afternoon, we will see clouds decreasing. Brighter skies as we get towards the mid-afternoon hours. I say we see our peak sunshine close to 3 o'clock, and then more clouds start to build on in late into the afternoon and on into the evening hours. Even though we get more cloud cover, we are still going to stay dry. So if you're heading out tonight for any of your plans. Maybe you're heading out to Gamebridge to cheer on the Pacers as they take on the Bucks. Tip off at 7 p.m. We'll see temperatures upper 40s. We'll only fall a few more degrees into the mid 40s as we head towards 10 o'clock and you're heading home from that game. Tomorrow's shaping up to be a great day. So although these temperatures are cooler, they're just really getting back on par to where we should be for this time of year. The average high today is 55. Tomorrow we'll start off with temperatures cooler than this morning, mid 40s out there, low to mid 40s. And then as we head on into tomorrow afternoon, we'll see high temperatures mid and upper 50s. So still a few more above average days, including today in there. And then looking ahead, the 8 to 14 day outlook actually has us very much centered in an area of high probability that we'll see above average temperatures as we get into that third week of November. We still have quite a few days with above average temperatures as we head through these next seven days. So looking ahead, we will see temperatures temperatures go from high of 58 today, just a little cooler tomorrow, a high of 56, a lot of sunshine into tomorrow afternoon and a lot of sunshine on into the weekend, just slightly below average with a high of 52 on Saturday. 54 on Sunday, and then we will climb back into the 60s as we get into next week. 61 on Monday, close to a 59 on Tuesday, and 62 on Wednesday. And Justin, although we need rain, we don't have any in the forecast. 